Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Perucci and in this video I'm gonna show you some things to do in Woodstock, New York. We are here for the weekend and we are gonna do amazing things including this hiking. Stay tuned and I'm gonna show you everything from restaurants, from places to see, things to do. So if you are planning to come here, check it out my tips. So for our stay in Woodstock, we decided to rent an Airbnb and I was like, kind of like looking for a place beautiful, you know, so we can spend some time inside if we're not in the mood to go outside, you know, and this Airbnb we just got here, it's perfect, it's amazing, I mean the location it's so cool, like the fall foliage and everything here. It's just magical. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys this place. I'm gonna link the Airbnb below on the video description. But the decor is so clean and modern. You guys gonna love it. Let me show you. So here is the entrance. It's like an open space, you know. Um, so here they have a lot of books. It's so clean. Look at this chair. I know that Tiago it's kind of was looking forward to try this chair. Do you can you go there to show us, please? Yes, yes of course you can. But it's kind of cold. Do you like it? It's comfy. It's good. It's room. comfy? Okay. So here we have like the living room. There's a couch. Look at the decoration. It's so like simple and minimalistic. Here the kitchen. Oh, I love and look at the view i mean this is the perfect place for the fall right so here we have the kitchen right it's so beautiful and here um the bathroom and here is like a home office and a guest room okay now we have the coolest part which is the bedroom Wow, how cool is this? So cool, oh my god. I'm obsessed with this place. It's like living in Pinterest, you know? There is a, the place for barbecue. I mean, this is so cool. Look at this, wow. Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited. Ashokan Reservoir and this is one of the several reservoirs in the area created to provide the city of New York, New York City, with water. Um, and this is actually the deepest one with 190 feet um, and you can park your car here. I'm gonna put on the description my blog post with all the information about this tree and I'm gonna put the map where you can come and uh, park your car so you can walk and check the facilities. Um, actually today it's kind of dry, you know, but it's, it's kind of cool because we can see the mountains and we can see the snow on the top of the mountain. So if you come to Woodstock, make sure to stop here because it's a beautiful view and with the fall landscape it's magical. Say hi! So um, one of my followers recommended me this place which is called Bread Alone. It's a bakery and coffee, right? Coffee shop. They have a lot of uh, breads, sourdough, and also a lot of pastries. And this guy is obsessed with pastries. We actually got some pastries here, but uh, we're not gonna try now because we're full. But later when you try, I'll let you guys know what you think. But it's super cute. And they also have like a chocolate powder to make hot chocolate. That was I was really interested, but we have some uh, chocolate for 
hot chocolate at home so yeah but anyway uh, if you come to Woodstock make sure to stop here because this place is like awesome and the breads look delicious but we will bring some bread from bakery to here because we brought this uh, to eat at home for breakfast it's another day but I wanted to give you guys my opinion about the pastries so first I'm gonna try this um, baker muffin it's so cute let me see. Uh. Mm. Smells like cinnamon. It's not that easy to cut. I don't know why. Let me see. If you need some spread with this, like a jam or something like that, it's a little dry. But I don't know if it's because we wait until the next day to eat. So let's be fair and honest about it. Um, and now I'm going to try this one that I don't remember the name, but it has pecans and I think it's vegan. And this I'm more excited to try. Um, mm, mm -hmm. A lot of sugar. I mean, not a lot, but you have this a sugary frosting, something like that. I don't know how you call it. And a lot of pecans and the dough. It's really good, the mix between everything. This is my favorite between two. So we are here at Candlestock and it's a store specialized in candles, of course. And I'm obsessed with candles. I love to have a lot of candles in my house and when I feel like in the mood, I light up like, and I love the smell that the candles bring. Um, and this place is like a candles paradise for anyone that is obsessed with candles like me. So I'm definitely gonna grab one. But if you love candles, if you love scents, you should definitely come here. Look at this one. It's like milk, but it's a candle. It's so cute. Look at this. It's a candle. I just can't. I can't. Tonight we're here at Cucina, which is an Italian restaurant here in Woodstock. Uh, they brought the food really fast. Uh, I love Italian food. So we got the rigatoni, rigatoni with salsa and peas, and also a pizza with fig and truffle oil and you know like sweet and savory flavors. I love it. I'm gonna try the rigatoni. This is smelling so good. Let's try it. It's really hot. For me, like pasta is one of the best options when it's cold, you know. This is really good. I'm gonna finish this and then I come back to tell you a little bit about the pizza. So now we're gonna try, I mean, I'm gonna try the pizza with, um, I think it's apple, right? Apple, fig, uh, it, has, it has truffle oil, arugula. So excited to try in the crust. It's really thin, really, really thin. Okay, it looks like um, no, it's not panini. I forgot the name, but whatever. Mm. There's goat cheese as well. Max everything. It's not so sweet. I love fig. So good. So the restaurant is amazing. I really re recommend that you come here if you're in Woodstock. I think they only open for dinner. So make sure to check that info. And it's perfect for a date night. The food is delicious. Um, you should order a glass of wine as well. We we're so full that we didn't order dessert. So we ordered two entries. Um, pizza and pasta it was enough for us and they also offer uh, bread as an appetizer
So today we're doing the hiking to the Overlook Mountain here in Woodstock. It's part of the Catskills. Um, I'm very excited. It's 2.5 miles to go and 2.5 miles coming back. And here we have a little bit of snow and it's cold. It's really cold today, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be beautiful. And I'm kind of worried because we may see bears and I'm not prepared for that. But anyway, super excited for this hiking. This is magical because in the city, we only get to see snow when we don't have more leaves on the trees. And now it's kind of a mix with the white snow and the colors of fall. So it's really beautiful and unique. So I don't know where exactly you are right now, but we pass halfway of this uh, hiking and this is one of the attractions of this hiking. It used to be a hotel and the structure is still here. It was really huge, so have this part and also the other side. And I think we got lucky today because it's particularly uh, beautiful with all the snow and uh, the hotel. And you can actually go inside and see. It's really, really beautiful. Can you imagine how cool it would be if they still have this hotel at this uh, area? Can you imagine? It would be amazing. I think we have to walk a little bit more until the top, but this is, it, this is really cool. When you get here at the fire tower, the top of the mountain, make sure to follow the signs for scenic views because it's really worth it. So now that we got here at the top of the mountain, like this is like the end of the one of the hikings is this uh, fire tower I'm gonna climb because I mean it was a long hiking I'm so tired it's a lot of climbing you know I wasn't expecting this to be so difficult for me it was kind of difficult but it was worth it the view is amazing from the overlook and now I'm sure that it's gonna be amazing from the tower See here, here's the hotel. That's the reservoir, the water reservoir. So cool. Look at the mountains with the snow on top. So we're here at this restaurant uh, called Pub in Woodstock. It was actually the only restaurant that was open today for lunch, for I mean for dining. I was surprised. It's really hard to find some dining options. Uh, anyway, we came here uh, and they have a lot of pub options like burgers, fish and chips, soups, sandwiches. And I got this um, cider and they put whiskey inside because it's too cold here. Um, and also cinnamon. So I hope I get warm drinking this. I'm not used to drink cider, but I like the... I don't like whiskey, but I, I kind of like that it's not so strong in this cider, you know? And plus it's gonna help me to be really warm.
exciting to do this and I can't believe it it's really really cool so you come if you come to this area this is actually for Phoenicia town it's really near Woodstock like 20 minutes driving yeah 20 minutes driving so cool so so cool <laughs> but it's really cool. So now we're on a break for 15 minutes before we head back. Um, actually, I have some information that I'd like to share with you guys. Um, the tour lasts on average two hours and a half. I mean, that's what they ask you to consider. And also you have to make your reservation online because they sell out really, really fast. Um, actually, I almost couldn't uh, make a reservation. And especially now during the, this time of the year, it's it's very. I mean, a lot of people are looking to do this. Um, yeah, that's it. You have to pay attention to your belongs because, like, I lost a mask on the way. I'm lucky to have another one, and that's it. It's so exciting, it's so beautiful because now you're passing by the river, you know, and the foul foliage. It's really amazing. We are here at Sylvia restaurant um, and this was a recommendation from a follower and also I saw this in a lot of uh, Woodstock guides. Uh, my follower said that it was the best restaurant in town and it's really beautiful, the atmosphere. And they have that farm to table concept. Everything is like local source, uh, is fresh, farm to table. I particularly love this kind of restaurants because you can really feel and taste the difference on the flavor of the plate. So to start, because it's cold <laughs> again, I got this new wine, it's like a hot drink, hot cocktail with uh, wine, brandy, cinnamon, cloves, ginger, nutmeg. Let's try. Oh my god, this reminds me of a drink in Brazil with the same flavor. We have these um, festivities in, in mid-June and July in Brazil and we have a lot of food from this time of year and we drink uh, hot wine and this reminds me a lot and I also got a lot of a little emotional because it really reminds me. But um, for the plates, they have a lot of vegetables, they have um, meats and we order two starters and two plates so I'm gonna show you once we got this this food here this is the wood fire nun can you explain what is nun nun is the Indian bread yeah it's like a, yeah it's like a bread it's a Indian dough <laughs> Good. It has a lot of, uh, I don't know if it's rosemary, but it's really intense rosemary on this. Yeah? Okay, let's try. Now we have the Korean barbecue. I'm very excited to try this one. Let me get the meat and the other things here. Mm. I love the, the spices that uh, Korean food uses on meat because it's kind of like spicy and a little bit uh, sweet and sweet and sour and when you mix it with the vegetables it's amazing it tastes so good mm. we got the wood smoked pork chop and also the Smoked beets, right? Smoked beets. Smoked beets. Um, so it has excited. jalapeno in it. Yeah, I'm gonna try a, just a bite of this so I can let you know if it's good. It's 
a beautiful plate. Mm. It's so good, it's so tender and um, it's kind of sweet and I think that matches uh, pork meat, you know. You can taste the um, smoked flavor as well. Now I try the, because it's food smoke, I try this. I'm curious to try this one. Yeah, you definitely can, can taste the smoky um, flavor on the beet, but it's not so strong as on the pork. But I think we got the perfect match because it balanced, you know, really good. I hope you guys like this video and if you have more suggestions on things to do in Woodstock, New York or in the area, please comment below. Also check my blog post with all these tips together in my website, of course. And don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. Bye!